The last few weeks I have been on tour around Australia visiting five different cities, sharing my keynote and the stage with three of Australia's top speakers. There is Chris Helder, Amanda Stevens, and Jess Gallagher. And while I love their keynotes and I love their content, what has fascinated me more is trying to break down and analyze what it is that takes a good speaker and makes them great. These, th th these three are regarded as the top speakers in Australia. So I've found out a few things. I've learned a few lessons, things to, that are gonna give me that extra edge, allow me to improve as a speaker. And I wanna share some of those things with you here on this video. Now, for me to list all of the things that I discovered, it would, it would be like an entire course in itself. It would be like a feature length movie of a video. So instead, I'm gonna share with you three ideas, three things that I noticed that were consistent across all speakers. So the first one is this, and that is simplicity. They may have a big idea, but they make that big idea a simple sentence or a simple slogan that somebody can take immediate action on. I think that a really good example of this was Chris Helder. He's, his simple bumper sticker slogan was about having a useful belief. Obviously his keynote elaborated on this and he told more of a story, but ultimately he had this one actionable step that the audience could take away, which was about having a useful belief. So if you are presenting, how can you bring your big idea down into one sentence or one slogan? The second thing was energy, and that was about having a pre-decided type of energy that you're gonna to bring to the stage. Now, what I'm saying by this is, it's not about jumping up on stage and leaping around all over the place, but it's about being very deliberate in your energy, having an energy that affects the audience. You see, energy is contagious. We can take the audience on a journey. We can change their experience by just bringing a completely different energy when we walk up on stage. I mean, I can even do it on video now. I can change my energy and it gives a completely different feel. I'm somebody who is quite excited and passionate in my, in, in, in my delivery and this shows whenever I'm presenting. So what I want you to think about is, are you being deliberate in your energy? Are you deciding the energy that you're taking up onto the stage so that you are influencing the experience for the audience? And then the third and the final thing, and this is the one that I'm going to be working on over the next few weeks, this is where I'm gonna be focusing a lot of my attention, is storytelling. Great speakers, those speakers that, that are regarded as the best, what they do is they take their stories and they make them, they give just enough information to create this vision inside somebody's head, to create a picture inside somebody's mind, and they're able to link that to the message that they are, that they're trying to, to get across to the audience. So those three tips again is, first of all, keep it simple. Your big idea, make it as one simple sentence or statement that people can then take instant action on. The second thing was decide upon your energy, decide upon how you want the, the audience to feel so that you arrive on stage and you use your energy throughout your presentation to take them on a journey. And then the final thing is stories. Provide just enough information to create the picture, but be able to tie that story to the message that you are trying to deliver. So those are the three tips. What did you think? Which one is the standout for you? Now, if you have got any, any tips as to what you feel makes a great speaker, leave it in the comments section below. Hope that you found this video useful. Please share it around on social media. Until the next video, I'm Anthony Lay. Take action. Create your story.